Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra. So Libra, let's get right into your reading. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month remaining of September. Oh, going into the month of October. All right, Libras. So you guys have a lot of um, a lot of planets in the third, twelfth, and second house. So what they're speaking to us about is there is a lot for some of you guys. You may have already been experiencing like synchronizations. Um, it could represent like bumping into a person, and you were thinking of a specific symbol, specific color, something like that, and then all of a sudden you bump into them, and they are. Uh, e evoking that type of energy or they're wearing that specific color something is pulling you towards them and this is to do uh, the Newman is uh, speaks about mysteries but it also speaks directly about the unknown um, it speaks about the cosmos the universal so this is on a grander scale so again synchronizations is something that is very triggering right now for you guys now you also have the third house which is perception this is also the communication uh the communication house so for some of you guys i feel that in regards to love and romance you may be feeling a little bit off in regards to communication for some of you guys being uh, a bit intimidated to communicate or to uh, be vocal about your intentions or the fact that you are attracted or being pulled towards a specific person. You also have the 12th house, which is surrender. So the blockage of the third house and the 12th house, which is to do with spirituality, with the unknown, with the mystery, with everything that has to do with healing, um, the subconscious, um, I feel that for some of you guys, you may be walking or being pulled towards a specific person. This person could uh, have a tendency of being extremely spiritual or they're very connected uh, spiritually wise. Uh, they're very self-aware. And I feel that if you are interested or dealing with someone that is very spiritual or, you know, they're, they practice the spiritual or they're very... Uh, a very spiritual person is what they're telling me it could be that there is some type of intimidation there for some of you guys it could be that um this person evokes everything you've ever wanted in a partner but at the same time their self-awareness could be something that is a bit intimidating for you uh, perhaps you feel like very naked around them like they can see through you or they can read you that type of energy what spirit is telling you here is now is the time uh, to embrace those synchronizations that are coming into your life, Libra. You have the uh, second house, which is assets, but it's also partnerships. So I do see partnerships coming in for you guys, especially those of you guys that have been single for a while. But you, here's the thing, though. What they're saying is that you have to take these opportunities. So with the third house, there may be some type of uh, like I said, there may be a feeling of like being more reserved in regards to communication. Perhaps you met, you recently met a person and you feel some type of way, like you're really interested, but you don't know how to approach them with the 12 house being there. What spirit is telling you is listen to your intuition. If you're being pulled towards them, definitely communicate. It doesn't matter how it comes out. Just communicate. You don't want to miss that opportunity because we have sextile here, which is opportunities. But it also speaks about missed opportunities. So again, be careful with that. You also have conjunction here, and this is empowerment. This is speaking about um, it enhances and strengthens all these opportunities that may be coming to you. Uh, it's, it's almost like uh, meeting the person or the right person that's going to guide you towards the right path. Uh, perhaps uh, being surrounded by people that are very positive, very optimistic, that are going to guide you or teach you or help you uh, to become a better person, to become a better you. And when we're talking about partnerships, obviously this is a love and romance reading. What they're saying is you don't want to miss the opportunity of connecting with the person that you may be intuitively very connected to, but because of intimidation or because you feel like you're not ready, you may miss that opportunity. So just putting it out there for you guys. 
Now, for those of you guys that are currently in a committed relationship, the message is the same. I do see a new person coming in and they're like, you're very pulled towards them. And it's not anything that has to do with like the mundane. This is speaking directly about higher purpose. It could be a mentor. It could be a person that's coming in that's going to guide you. Someone that perhaps is going to help you heal those traumas or difficulties or blockages that you've gone through in the past when we're talking about relationships. Now, the energies currently influencing you is voice, prayers, and fearless. Here's the thing. That's exactly what they were trying to uh, communicate. With the voice, there is a message that needs to happen. If you've been sitting there trying to communicate or trying to connect with the specific person that you're interested in, or this could even be your partner, what they're telling you is don't, don't keep it to yourself and don't suppress the need to reach out or the need to communicate. Speak your truth, Libra. Don't allow these opportunities to pass you by. Prayers is a representation of everything we've been putting out to the universe or what we've been asking for. Perhaps for some of you guys, you guys have gone through relationships that just have not worked out. And you've been praying or hoping for a specific individual or someone that possesses specific needs that you feel would be uh, more ideal when it comes to partnerships. And Spirit is here saying, here we are bringing to you this person that is more ideal. We're bringing to you this person that can help you uh, raise your vibration and become a better person or become a better person for yourself. But you have to be fearless. You got to let go of those fears. You got to let go of any type of fear that you're holding because of past experiences. This is something very important, Libra. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.